Dr. Margaret Blake Chigozi, known by many as Dr. Maggie, was born in 1950 to engineer George William Blake and Molly Blake. Her father was British and her mother traces her roots to Massacre District. Maggie Blake Chigozi attended Aga Khan Primary School and it's here that her talent in sports started to show up. I was privileged to actually see the Aga Khan, His Royal Highness, the Aga Khan. He was only about 20, 21 years old. Being a tennis player, by then I was the Uganda tennis champion. And uh, junior champion from 67 to 69. Having excelled in her air levels, Maggie Chigozi was admitted to Makere University where she did medicine, a course her father had wanted her to do. My father told me almost from the day that I was born that I would be a doctor. Yeah. I loved my father so much. There was no way I could have done anything else. Married to engineer Daniel Serrano Chigozi. After my A levels at Gayaza, I was employed as the receptionist in British American Tobacco. Uh, one of the ad advantages of that particular job was I met my husband. My, <laughs> my husband was the, the assistant chief engineer in VAT. However, Chigozi's life was at a risk, making him flee the country. He was supposed to have produced inferior beer for the army, so they were looking for him. So it was an allegation. Uh, it was not true. Following a one-year internship in Uganda, Maggie Blick then migrated to Zambia, where she practiced as a physician from 1977 until 1979, then later worked in Nairobi. Because I really enjoyed working as a doctor. I was treating children. They get better, you know, they come, they're really sick. They go away and they're so much better, and it, it really is a nice feeling. After the turmoil had ended in Uganda, she returned back in Uganda working in the parliament clinic. What was that saddest moment or time that you went through in your life that when you think about it, you know, it gives you one of those memories that you don't want to think about it again? Definitely be the death of my husband. Totally unexpected. He was only 49 years old. He was really the peak of his career. He hadn't been sick. I traveled, and while I was in Kenya to see the children, I was told he had passed away. Having lost her husband, Daniel Serrano Chigozi, Maggie was tasked with taking care of her children single-handedly. This prompted her to join the private sector becoming the marketing manager of Crown Beverages and later Uma as the director for six years. So the position for executive director of the Uganda Investment Authority had been advertised. They were looking for somebody with private sector experience. Now with my six years at Crown Bottlers, six years during which I had been a director of Uma. According to Maggie, to excel, the mindset has got to change to look at things differently. Mindset change of waiting to be given. Security, number two. We've already got those two. Let us just ensure we retain those two. Though coming from a sports family, this wasn't the case for some of our kids. Captain, that's what most guests yeah. know. I'm in the cabin, close to a hostess. Uh -huh. Intepid Plains, only land close to the coast. Yes. So we your son is one of the greatest rappers in Uganda in particular. What was your first impression when your son Daniel, of course commonly known as Navio, told you that he's entering into the industry of rap? He joined very, very early. The first discussion that we had was, yes, rap is well enough. Yes, you're doing well. You're getting all these awards, but you've got to go to school. I need a degree. But the minute he graduated, he handed me my degree. <laughs> Mom, take your degree. <laughs> now I'm going to do my music. Yeah. In her free time, she rarely participates nowadays in sports, but vibrantly supports it. I taught the vice president, Speciosa Wandera Kaziwe, to ride a bike because we had a Women's Day celebration and we were going to show that, yes, as women, we ride bikes. And so we needed a team. 
Apart from being a chief scout of the Uganda Scouts Association, these are just some of the things that keep her busy. I have my grandchildren keep you very busy. I actually had forgotten how much work young children are. Yeah, because that's what he said. Some of her role models are President Museven, Nelson Mandela, and some of her lecturers. For now, one of her number one passions is planting trees and talking to the youth. Maurice Chol, NTV.